Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be breaking down the sneak peek for tonight's episode, aka the season finale of Season 5. I'm super excited for tonight's episode, super excited to talk about this, because this teases a bit about what the plot is going to be in this episode and how it continues on from last episode. It actually reveals a big secret as to the cliffhanger we got last episode so we're going to be breaking this down in this video so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later in the summer because we aren't going anywhere subscribe turn on those notifications okay so let's go ahead and get right into this so just a quick recap we ended the penultimate episode episode 21 on a cliffhanger and this cliffhanger was of Ralph shouting and realizing that Team Flash trying to break the dagger which has been their plan all along will actually play into Thorne's plan and Thorne will be able to escape from the future and it will play into this and so this sneak peek reveals they didn't actually destroy the dagger I'm kind of surprised they released this but yeah so they didn't destroy the dagger at the end of the episode it was somehow stopped I think maybe Ralph stretched out or something like that and so in the end it's not too bad but they're in this dilemma in the sneak peek and so we have the whole team there Nora's all worried we got Sherlock telling them essentially what's going on and how it all makes sense because I don't know where Ralph is in this but Ralph is the one that figured it out it was a bit like back in season three when Barry figured out who Savitar was with the flashbacks I really like that ending to last episode so really looking forward to this and so like I said the whole team is there they're all debating what are they going to do and so Cisco says at the start of the sneak peek destroying Cicada's dagger in the past will save Thorn from dying in the future so this is a question and then Sherlock replies that's right it's been dampening his powers essentially and I'm just paraphrasing I'm not directly quoting so it reveals they didn't destroy the dagger and they've got this dilemma as to are they going to do it or not because destroying Cicada's dagger in the past will save Thorn potentially from dying in the future and that has been his plan all along so they essentially find out that Thorn has been manipulating them I don't think they're actually going to go confront Thorn in the future because you know he's set to die so I don't see a point in the episode where they do that so I think they're gonna make a decisive decision as to what's going to be happening so they're just sort of wrapping their heads around it in this scene that oh this was part of Thorne's plan he manipulated Nora and maybe there has been no reason for helping Nora but to help himself and then so Nora goes on to say everything you said about Thorne is true the only person he ever helps is himself and so she blames herself and Iris says it's not your fault but really it is her fault because you know we're following along with what Nora was sent to do in the past essentially by reverse flash and that's what team flash has actually done so it is Nora's fault but you know Iris is just comforting her because they've made a big mistake or they're about to and the fact that she's been betrayed by Thorne she still by the end of last episode although she doesn't have like the best relationship as they had early in the season but they are still friends they're still acquaintances and she's still doing his plan that will somehow benefit herself because there was no reason as to why Thorne wanted the dagger destroyed because that wouldn't stop Cicada because if you realize like they said last episode this version of Cicada didn't have the dagger before so she just used normal knives normal daggers so Nora didn't think about that and obviously that's just you know in the character's mind and so then there comes the dilemma of do we do this do we stop Cicada or stop Thorn and in reply to this Barry decisively and quickly says no we stop Cicada and we destroy the dagger save all these messy humans essentially so I'm a bit kind of weirded out by the fact that Barry's saying this because he's the one that's always going against you know everything is against Thorn and I'm kind of just surprised I think it's maybe a little bit out of character that he would say save all these people but let reverse flash go on but I guess it kind of links into what happened in Crisis on Earth X when he let Thorn go but still I think he's obviously with good intention and I think in this episode they will definitely stop Cicada she ain't coming back she's you know not got anything else to do her story's running thin and I think they will save all the metahumans and I think that's the right decision but at the same time he's not even thinking about reverse flash and that's a little bit out of character I think but 
they are going to stop Cicada and destroy the dagger. In that case, that means Thorn will escape in the future. However, this doesn't entirely make sense if you actually theorize and look at it in a logical way. So I'm going to be breaking down the idea of them destroying the dagger and how it doesn't really make sense that Reverse Flash will be able to escape and it will be the same version because if they destroy the dagger in the present, time will change. So whether it's the timeline completely changing or it's just a small little blip in the timeline where it changes, it means that there's going to be a different outcome to all the events that come in the future. And that means Thorn wouldn't have had the dagger on him in the first place. Because when you think of it, if they destroy it in the past, it's still the past to Thorn at any point we've seen him in the season in 2049. So therefore, this version of Thorn we're seeing would be a different version of Thorn. Because Thorn would have never been stopped and put in that prison. Maybe he went to prison, but he wouldn't have the cicada dagger in his chest because this right now in the present day is the past to him. So he would have never had that because the dagger would have been completely destroyed. And so therefore, I'm not sure if that's the way they're going to go on the show, but that's the way that makes sense. And the timeline will have been changed. And maybe that's the reason why the version of Thorn we see in the finale photos looks very much so like the season one version. It looks like a different version of himself. It looks like he hasn't gone through what has been happening this season. He doesn't have the blonde hair. He doesn't look sort of old and a bit aged compared to the version we see in the photos that has number one, a lot of makeup on because they want to make him reminiscent of how he looked in season one when obviously Tom was younger, but you know, it's very much so so he looks like that same version of himself. So he doesn't have the blonde hair, maybe he dyes his hair, but I have this feeling it's going to be a different version of Thorn. And if they follow how the continuity works in terms of timeline changes and time travel on the show, it should be that that version of Thorn ceases to exist and we'll have a different version of Thorn. So therefore in the finale, we should see another version. And so with these changes, if they do destroy Cicada's dagger, and I have no doubt they will destroy it, I think there is going to be, with the timeline changes, this may play into how the episode ends and what cliffhanger we will have, because we always have a cliffhanger setting up the next season. So the timeline changes, maybe like Flashpoint back in the end of season two, setting up into season three, there was changes and it teased what was to come. So with these timeline changes, maybe a different outcome comes out and then we see say Red Death if they're actually going with Red Death because I think it's about time and I think they think it's about time to go back to the speedster villains because that's what works and with these timeline changes do we see a teaser of Red Death but we got the mention of Red Death in that other version of future that doesn't exist anymore because the timelines change so maybe Red Death doesn't exist but maybe because of the timeline changes he comes earlier He's in 2019 rather than in the future in like 2049 or 2040 or where, whenever he comes around. They never clarified that. So maybe it's a different version, a bit like Cicada, different version of himself from what Sherlock had experienced on different worlds because of the timeline changes. So I think that would be a great way to bring in the speedsters to end with Reverse Flash and Barry and Nora and then going into next season having a speedster villain that is set off by the timeline changes caused by Barry to do with Reverse Flash. I just think it's kind of fitting if they were to go that way. So let me know in the comments down below, do you think that the timeline changes are going to make sense? Do you think that Reverse Flash should cease to exist, this version we've seen all season, and we get a different version, that's why Thorn looks differently, he looks more like the season 1 version of himself? Do you think that, or do you think I'm going a bit crazy, a bit out there? But uh, let me know what do you think about all this in the comments down below. And just before I end this video, just quickly an update in terms of what I'm going to be doing over the summer because, you know, we're very close. Maybe some of you might miss my review or won't see it for a while. So if you're watching this video right now, in the summer, I'm going to be uploading. Normally at the start of the summer, I upload daily still because there's still lots of content to talk about in terms of the finales of all these shows. And then ultimately, like every year, it dries up a bit. There is not much news going on until we reach Comic Con. So there is a stale period, but I'll be in that stale period where there's not much news, nothing really to talk about. 
I'll be uploading about once every two to three days, but I will not be going anywhere, so please be sure to turn on notifications, that's vital, so you don't miss any videos over the summer. So, I'll see you guys later, thank you for watching, and goodbye.